Hey, Justin Abel here with STL Tones. Today's episode is all about mix templates. We're gonna build one from scratch and talk about how you can implement some of these things in your mixes. So let's get into it. So on today's episode, we're gonna be starting with a completely blank Pro Tools session, and then we'll be building all of the routing out together and using Control Hub across all of our buses to just massage our production audio right away when you put it into the template so that it's just pushing things in the direction of a mix. So let's get into it. Okay, so here's the session. This is just a completely blank Pro Tools session. First things first, we need to build some tracks. So. We're gonna make these stereo. I like routing folders. They, they act just like auxes. Um, and we're gonna make 10 of these. And we're gonna hit this plus sign. We also need two aux tracks. I'm going to be, I'll, I'll explain all of this, why, why I'm doing the number of, of what I'm doing. And then we need two stereo audio tracks. Okay, so here are the tracks we just made, and I'm just gonna start going through and label th labeling things as I would. So, top is drums, underneath that is percussion, um, which percussion usually is like tambourines, any sort of programmed percussion, um, swells or 808s or anything like that. Bass is all things low end, so synth basses and real basses. Um, then I'll put Rhythm guitars, lead guitars, acoustic guitars, which are not in every mix, but um, in this, it's nice to just build it into the template just in case. Um, synths, we have lead vocals, we have lead vocal effects. Again, I'll explain why I do that. Um, and then I have background vocals. Underneath that, we have our instrument bus. We have our mix bus. And then this is going to be our unlimited mix. And beneath that is our limited mix. Now, let's get things routed. So, we want for our drums through synth, all of our instruments to go into our instrument bus. So click on the output of that. In Pro Tools, this is, we select all of our tracks, you hold shift and option, click the output and you can go down to track and then we're gonna scroll down to instrument. So that sent all of these to this track and named the bus instrument bus, which is awesome. So that it just looks really clean. You can go through and you match up one bus one and two to that. I prefer not seeing numbers. I like to see words that, that mean something to me. And so just always makes more sense in my brain when I'm mixing. So now we're gonna take our all of our vocals and our instrument bus, and we're gonna feed those to our mix bus. That didn't work. There we go. So now all of those are going to our mix bus and our mix bus is going to be going to our unlimited mix. And then our unlimited mix is going to go into our limited mix. So that is the basic routing of this mix template. We have all of our audio that will eventually be within our folders that go into the inputs of the folders and the outputs of our folders either go into the instrument bus or the mix bus, which then is going downward into our unlimited mix audio track so that uh, we can print that and, uh, and give that to clients. And then um, that track goes into our limited mix, which on this we'll have, an we'll have an instance of Control Hub for loudness. So hopefully that all makes sense. Now we're gonna go through and um, just color these the way that I like them. I'll speed this up for the sake of time. Colors um, are an individual thing. 
there's there's not a a right or wrong way of coloring things. Um, this is just what I like to see when I'm mixing. So now let's import some tracks to start um, hearing stuff through through our template. Okay, so here are all of our tracks for our mix. And so in Pro Tools, I'm sure in other DAWs too, um, all you have to do is select the tracks and you drag them into the folder. And just like that, they are going to be within the folder and you can close and open folders um, with Shift F, which is super handy. So just going through putting all of our tracks in the right places. Okay, so now that we have all of the audio files in their folders, um, I went ahead and already just routed everything properly so you don't have to watch me do it, but I'll just, I'll just do an example with the drums. So. Um, you select all of your drum tracks, uh, hold shift and option in Pro Tools, and if you go to the bus menu, you'll see drums as an option uh, to route out to. And so when you click that, you will see that drums are getting sent to the drums folder, which is awesome. Um, and then if we look down here, um, you see that there is signal happening. I'll just mute everything other than drums. See that there's signal at the instrument bus, mix bus, but you're still not hearing anything. And that's because you have to do input monitoring on both of our audio tracks because uh, these are you know, gatekeeping the, the audio. So once you do that, then you can hear it. So everything else. In the past tense, watch the past um, everything else is going through the respective folders. Um, with, th with this way, you know, you can just hit solo. You can solo all of your guitars or all of your basses. The future in the past Watch the past wanna be. So it's just such a nice way to just make everything look really clean. Uh, you can easily open folders uh, with, with Shift F. Um, you know, do a little tweak here, there, whatever, close it back up and basically see your entire mix on, on one screen without scrolling. So I really love that. Let's go ahead and do some audio examples. Um, I went ahead and uh, spent a little time before this just making a, a good sounding mix template and, and, and good sounding settings that seem to work across multiple genres. Uh, again, when you open up this template, when you, when you download it, feel free to change things or remove things. Um, yeah, what I set up is not the greatest thing ever. It just is what I made in the moment, what, what I thought was hand, uh, handy and sounded cool. So let's uh, just select all of the tracks. I'm gonna leave this instance of Control Hub on because that's that's just making up some loudness. But let's just uh, bypass all of the Control Hubs and then turn them on. Um, again, this is just bus processing and mix bus, uh, and we'll we'll be able to do an A and B. Can you imagine what could happen? It's a volatile reaction, some contraption like the future in the past tense. Watch the past bins wanna be. So uh, pretty massive difference. And um, yeah, I don't, I don't think anything is doing too much of, re of really anything. Everything's just kind of massaging all of the files into place and it's giving you a really good starting point right away. So um, let's look individually. Here's, here's what we're doing on drums. Going into the Aaron Sprinkle Indie Rock Bus. just sounds awesome into the George Lever preset for just a little bit more uh, saturation and some vibe. And you can see I have the mix knob backed off a little bit on that just to just to retain some of the clarity of of the original. But uh, let's just do one more AB.
Here's percussion bus. Using Jeff Giuliano's uh, API mix bus and limiter. Such a nice way to just, just a little bit of finishing work. Um, the compression sounds great and just kind of rain, rains things in. Feel free to touch the threshold if you feel like it's doing too much or not enough. without it. Sounds awesome. Bass bus. So Colin Richardson pack, bass bus preset. So yeah, just reining it in a little bit. The compression sounds great. Um, and usually on, on bass bus, I will do decently heavy limiting. So depending on the track, you might want to drag the threshold down or link these together and, and um, yeah, just get a little bit more gain reduction on the limiter. But to me, that, that feels super good. Rhythm guitar bus. So firstly, Again, George, Le George Lever pack, and this is just a AMS 1073. Just a little bit of color, subtle. Just makes it come alive a little bit. And what's this? And again, George Lever, Fatso warmth on. So this is just gonna add some body, some saturation to the body. So here's without it, both of them. Yeah, it just, it just helps the guitars come alive a little bit. I feel like it's such a good starting point for, for all electric guitars. And then I just copied those exact same settings over to the lead guitars, and that's usually what I'll do. My, my rhythm guitar and lead guitar buses are usually pretty similar. Uh, let's take a look at acoustic guitar. <laughs> same, same set, or well, similar setting. Fatso transformers. Adding a nice little little smidge of uh, of dynamics. Feel free to change that as you need. Um, yeah, usually acoustic guitar bus. I just like a little bit of compression and some color. Synth bus. Usually I'm doing very little, and I chose the SSL G Plus console channel one from Castle Recordings. Sounds awesome. Just a subtle color move. Let's listen. Just just a small change, but I feel like is 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 worth doing. So lead vocal bus, Mark Lewis uh, vocal tracker. It's an 1176. So um, yeah, I really like using some compression on the lead vocal bus to to rein in the vocals because sometimes you know you have a single vocal in the verse and then maybe doubles come in at the chorus or whatever. So it's going to get louder, and it's nice to just glue those together. For with, with a collective stage of compression. So um, yeah, I really like how this one sounds. Obviously adjust the threshold as you need. We can race it round our made of constellations. Nothing's fake when you've got our imagination. Don't they Feels say great. life is what you make it, so let's make it. And then you can hear that there's some uh, there's some vocal effects going on, which is all Control Hub. Um, it's so cool to just be able to do it all with one plugin. Uh, so we can go through these really quick. I think I think on this it's just the the SSL again. Yep, SSL channel two from uh, from Castle Recordings. So let's see. We have. We can race it round a made of. Um, first reverb is the Will Putney vocal wet harmony. Um, I like the brightness. It's kind of a kind of a tight sounding reverb. And then I have uh, vocal reverb two, which is a little bit of a longer, warmer uh, concert hall from from Tom Lord Algae and then the new pack. Let's listen to it. We can race it round our made of constellations. Nothing's fake when you've got our imagination. Sounds awesome together. Then a little bit of delay. Let's see what this is from. Will Putney. Delay bus lead for four ping. We can race it round our made of constellations. Nothing's fake when you got. And then a vocal slap, which is again from Tom Lord Algae. Delay slap exciter. We can race it round our made of constellations. Nothing's fake 
when you so yeah, it makes these to taste, obviously, but for especially a genre like this, I want to feel the vocal effect. Like I want to feel the reverb or the delay, but I don't really want to hear it. So um, yeah, just mix those to taste. We can race it around your made up constellations. Nothing's fake when you got and then background bus. Uh, this is a good time to talk about why I do do this routing this way. So um, I separate lead vocals and lead vocal effects from background vocals uh, just for the sake of printing stems for bands because a lot of bands need stems, whether it's for live performances or for sync placement. And so this makes it so that the lead vocal is all contained effects as well. And so I can do one print of that and the background vocals effects are all contained within the background vocal folder. Um, so that, yeah, within one print, I can get all of the vocals printed. So that's the only reason I do that. So that's why there are two instances of Control Hub on the background vocal bus. So I have this same Fatso preset on the background vocal bus. Just giving it, giving it life, man. I love that. And then um, we're using the Will Putney uh, reverb bus vocal medium rim, and I'm mixing this way down. Just, just to let make those backgrounds really sit into the track. So that's all of the processing for the individual uh, buses. Let's let's check out the instrumental bus. I'll mute the vocals. So I'm using the glue, which is a brand new preset pack that is available to everybody that has Control Hub. It is awesome. It's an SSL bus compressor, and it does exactly that. I mean, it's really good for mix bus stuff and um, an overall. Uh, gluing and it adds a nice nice attack to drums and stuff and so you can see there's a ton of presets inside of here and they all work really well I've gone through and just and I've been really enjoying it so I'm using the mix bus glue four to one preset so yeah you can hear how much that's doing and, and it's it's not really hitting that much gain reduction let's put the vocals in and we'll go to the mix bus again we're using the glue uh, but we're using the two to one. It's just little by little, these, these small moves, um, yeah, making the whole track come to life. Finally, we have uh, the mastering preset. And so uh, this glued and limited, I think I've used this already in videos before, but I just love this. It's, uh, yeah, it, it does exactly what my ear wants to hear, has a really nice, um, limiting and, and gets things loud without without getting too crazy sounds sounds awesome so now uh yeah one more time let's do it the, the a b of everything on including the 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 master and um then everything off Uh, and then here, I'll, I'll just explain this really quick before we wrap up. So um, I like to have things set like this so I can record my mix into the session. So like this, I can just hit record. So let's just say that I recorded the whole song. So you can see that I have the unlimited mix right here, which is great to send off to mastering, uh, tons of headroom still. And then you have your limited mix that's a lot louder, which is good to send to clients to, to get mixed notes or anything like that. So I really like having, having it all contained into one session and being able to do one print of the whole song and get two different versions done at the same time. So absolutely love that. So like I said, this mix template that we just made together is gonna be available in the comment section below. So feel free to download it, um, tweak it and, and move it around in a way that works for you and your mixes um, or leave the settings just as is. This in no way is me saying this is the only way of, of, of setting up a mixer or anything. This is just what I do and it works for me. So feel free to leave comments below if you have any questions about um, how to set up a mix or if, if, if any questions stemmed from this video, I'd love to hear about it. Um, definitely make sure you check out the past episodes of the Mix Creative series. We've covered a lot so far. We're covering a lot more in this next year that I'm really, really excited about. So thank you again for joining me and uh, I'll see you next month.